for one who is unwavering in his intention. For him, liberation cannot be denied. The only reason most of the humanity goes about their life blundering through their life, not knowing which way to go, is because they keep shifting the direction of their life too often. They may not actually change the direction of their life, but in their mind and emotion, it keeps shifting and shifting and shifting and shifting. The very nature of the existence is such, today it is also a scientific fact, but this is the experience of every yogi, that in this existence, there is energy and this consciousness. There is no such thing as physical matter. Physical matter, as you know it today, is just concentrated patterns of energy. Today, this is established science, but more than forty thousand years ago, when Shiva spoke, he spoke clearly. His involvement was in absolute consciousness or in the energy, never in the physical matter because he did not see it as real. And he spoke thus very clearly without any ambiguity about it. So these are the only two things one needs to deal with. Oh, why didn't you tell us? <laughs> we wouldn't have done the Surya Namaskar today morning. <laughs> You are not doing the Surya Namaskar to build muscle. If you have to know the energy right now, it's concentrated in the form of this body. Only if you use it in a certain way, it'll crackle. Otherwise, it'll sit like a lump of earth. If this has to sit here and crackle, then it has to be kept in a certain way. So whatever the physical sadhana that you're doing is not to build muscle, not to… that when you go home, you can dominate the people at home. I'm telling the ladies, <laughs> you could be stronger than them. Ninety days of sadhana, you could be actually stronger than <laughs> If your energies can crackle and your mind is focused, then this will just build in that direction. Because the mind is shifting and shifting and shifting focus, it does not know which way to build. The very life within you is confused, it doesn't know which way to go. I would say more than ninety-five, actually I think it's ninety-nine, but so that I'm not wrong, at least ninety-five percent of the human energy is wasted, is simply wasted because most human beings cannot hold anything in their focus. For any substantial amount of time, otherwise each of them would be opening up a new window, a new door to something else. Seven billion people, if they had all had their minds and consciousness focused, everything, just everything have to yield. Nothing would be unexplored, just everything. If one keeps his mind, his energies and his consciousness organized in one direction, what a certain period of time. He not only realizes the nature of this life, the past eighty-four creations that have happened, they are also here. Everything could be explored by human consciousness. How to focus on yourself? At whatever your reasons, taking a step back to reevaluate your life, asking yourself important questions to discover what makes you happiest, and simply putting time aside each dihe, want to relax, pamper, an indulge is a fantastic idea and is something everyone should do. 1. Respect who you are. Before you learn to focus on yourself, you must learn to respect yourself. Do you genuinely respect yourself? Stop focusing on your negative aspects and focus on the aspects you're good at. We're all human and all of us have our own flaws and good sides, whether it's seen by others or not. By only acknowledging the negative side, you're forgetting the wonderful side that can actually be shared with others. 2. Decide what you want to do. It's always good to take stock from time to time and ask yourself, is this really what I want to be doing? It's never too late to have a career change. And if your job isn't challenging you, doesn't satisfy you, doesn't make you enough money, or you just downright hate it, then perhaps it's time to think about what you really want to do and then begin to plot the way to get there. 3. Visualize what your life should be like. Positive visualization is a technique 
that many people swear by. They think about all the things that they want from their life, be it getting that promotion to losing 20 pounds. Then they imagine themselves achieving their goals. The point is to focus so hard on the things you want that you start to believe they have already happened to you. Or at least that there is no option but to succeed. 4. Figure out where you need to improve. Knowing how to focus on yourself is all about honesty. And being honest with yourself includes figuring out the bits which you don't like. 2. Everyone has areas in their life that need improvement, from being a bit tidier around the house to being kinder to whatever your areas of improvement are. Try to get to the root cause of why you feel as though you've let yourself down and then figure out what you can do about it. Remember, making little changes and taking baby steps is the best way. If you try to do too much, at once you'll just set yourself up for failure. 5. Exercise more. Exercise releases endorphins which make you feel good, plus feeling fit, stronger and healthier does wonders to boost your self-esteem. Focusing on yourself is about taking good care of yourself, so try to eat right. Drink plenty of water. Cut down on junk food and alcohol. Get moving. And you'll soon start to feel more energetic, happier, and healthier too. 6. Be determined and believe in yourself. Remember that old adage. Every long journey starts with a single step. You may be feeling low or unhappy being the person that you are. But if you are truly determined, you can change every single thing you hate about yourself starting today. If you really want to know how to start focusing on yourself, be determined and focus on starting to make little positive changes every day. It could be issues related to your work, health, or even your own personal dreams. Whatever they may be, be determined and pursue them with all your heart. By doing this, you'll lose respect and love yourself a lot more. 7. Have a clear out. There is nothing more satisfying when trying to make a fresh start than having a good old clear out. If you want to know how to focus on yourself, then you need to free yourself of baggage and clutter. So why not make some time to work through each room in your home? Get rid of the things you don't need and only hold on to those things which bring you joy. Doing so makes you feel lighter and more determined to achieve your goals. 8. Spend time with people who are important to you. Surround yourself with people who you love and get rid of those who treat you badly, don't support you or bring you down. Spending time with family and friends who make you smile, encourage you and bring out the best in you is the perfect way to share your mate time with.